What's going on everybody? Kirby's Fish and Grill tagged me in a rib candy video. So I'm gonna be tagging three other channels. The rules of this challenge is you need to make your own barbecue sauce and then you need to make your ribs like candy. So that's what I did. Um, I already made the blueberry barbecue sauce. I made a video of that. And I also have my other barbecue sauce right here. It's my uh, bourbon and maple syrup barbecue sauce. I'm waiting for some uh, stuff to come through before I can actually start selling this, but I have it bottled up and it's ready to go. So let's get this camera turned around. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna be putting on these ribs. First off, there's the ribs. Looks pretty nice. Uh, we're using uh, four St. Louis cut ribs today. And uh, right there is my bourbon maple syrup barbecue sauce. There's my blueberry um, barbecue sauce. I'm gonna talk about these two barbecue sauces here real quick, hold on. This one. And that one. Okay, so this barbecue, this uh, rub right here, um, Kansas City's Cowtown, the squeal. I used this uh, on, my, on my baby back ribs. I did, well, my back ribs I did on, uh, on July the 4th. This is the real deal. This is phenomenal. And I got this from Rusty KC. You probably see him uh, comment in a lot of our videos. He sent this to me, and he also sent me Tango Spice's Midnight Espresso. I have not used this yet, so I cannot comment on how it actually is. So I'm gonna use the Tango Spice Midnight Espresso on one slab of ribs. I'm gonna use this. Uh, this is Kansas City's Cowtown, the Squeal Hog Rub, but you know you can also use it on chicken. So I'm gonna use it, I used it actually on wings last week. It was, it was amazing. So I'm using this one, this one, that I'm using, of course, it's incredible for my wife. I'm putting this on my wife's ribs. And I'm also using the Texas Rib Rub from Heavenly Made Products as well. So that's why I got four slabs of ribs. I'm gonna do four different kinds of rubs. And one slab of ribs is gonna be my bourbon maple syrup barbecue sauce. One's gonna be my blueberry barbecue sauce. Then one I'm gonna make just uh, plain with uh, just uh, the It's Incredible for my wife. And then another one I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some apple, I made some apple pie, I made apple pie on July the 4th and I have some mix left over. So one of the, one of the uh, ribs, I'm gonna put the, the apple pie mix in with the ribs. So that's gonna be pretty good. Um, let's get our, uh, I'm gonna get the camera turned around and I'm gonna get these, uh, these ribs prepped up. All right, let's rock. So for those of y'all that actually haven't seen this done, first off, you've been under a rock because there's about 50 billion videos out there that have shown you how to prep up ribs. For the one person that might not have seen it, I'm gonna do it one time. First of all, I got the big old thing of fat right here. You kind of you don't want that. Just gonna cut this off. Trim that nice and trim, trim that off right now. Now when you look for ribs, look for ribs that don't have a whole lot of fat. And this is here is actually pretty good. There was some other packs there that had a lot of fat on there. And look for uh, packs. These here came two in a pack. And uh, so both packs weighed right about seven pounds. So each uh, thing of ribs is about three and a half pounds. We're gonna turn this around. This, uh, this big thing of meat right here, you don't need that. I'm gonna cut that off. Make, make it look pretty. Uh, this is just some grapeseed oil. This is what I happened to grab. Uh, you can use olive oil, mustard, mayonnaise. Um, heck, you can use uh, pretty much anything you want to. So I'm putting grapeseed oil on here.
So it's almost two o'clock in the morning. So what I'm gonna do, I'll put these in the fridge and I will revisit this in the morning. Uh, I'm gonna be cooking this on the Oklahoma Joe's Highland Smoker. I haven't used it in a while. I love my offset. And uh, that smoker is going to be perfect for this cook right here. So Oklahoma Joe's, here I come. I just hope I can remember what rub I put on what. We're gonna see. So I'll see you tomorrow. All right, so while I wait for this to get lit up, I just wanna let you know I am using uh, pecan wood. Majority of what I'm using is pecan wood. I'm also splattering in some pear wood as well. Uh, the first person I'm going to tag in this um, rib candy uh, video and to do a challenge is going to be uh, cooking with CJ. I kind of gave him a heads up. I was going to be tagging him, so you're officially tagged, CJ. Um, I'll be made, I'll be naming two more throughout this cook. All right, so let's get back to the action. All right, so I got a whole thing going on here. I'm about to put the ribs on. The temperatures have finally settled down, but. I don't got no room over there for the camera, but. The one on the left, he's reading 220. So here's reading 235. So 15 difference, that ain't bad. And as the, as it starts to, uh, as the cook goes on, they're gonna settle down even more and get within a, a, a tighter gap. All right, so here's the, it's incredible, right? It's incredible Texas beef. Here's the tango spice. So I'm doing these all uh, rib side down. Here's the tango spice. And this is the, it's called the squeal. I'm gonna spray some Dr. Pepper or some water about every, uh, about every 45 minutes to an hour. All right, it's been about, it's been about 45 minutes. Um, over here, however, I had the racks laying inside the smoker. I, that's why I did the rubs, so I don't lose track. Like over here, I've got the, uh, the Tango Spice Midnight, the Midnight Espresso. Then I've got the, uh, the it's incredible it's incredible texas rub and i have the squeal right there so i don't lose track of them kind of a little thing i just thought of how to keep track of them oh yeah if you see nice clean burn nice clean burn spray these in water for right now get them nice and moist and that's it shut the lid see you back here in about 45 minutes uh, the next person I'm going to choose in the rib candy tag challenge is going to be Steve at Not Another Cooking Show. Um, this guy is in New York and he is shooting up. This guy uh, got some great editing skills. In fact, uh, he blows me out of the water. The guy's really good. Uh, so go check out uh, Not Another Cooking Show with uh, uh, Steve, Not Another Cooking Show. And Steve, you're officially tagged. I'll be tagging one more before this ends. Actually, maybe two. I might, I might, I might throw another one in there. I might break the rules. Instead of doing three, I might do four. Stay tuned. What's up, y'all? I just got word I have a special guest coming by. This special guest is a personal hero of mine. Coming by, and you guys are gonna get to see him. I'm awfully excited be a first for y'all too to meet him there he is just arrived all right buddy uh this is right here this is my son michael my marine i tell y'all about all the time this is his girlfriend and uh we are going to be making ourselves well continuing making the ribs he's a little late he overslept all right y'all so uh michael's gonna go ahead and he's going to uh spray the ribs um I switch from water over to Dr. Pepper now. Spray him, spray him pretty good. There you go, get some moisture on there. And we're doing that for the last uh, for the last hour or so before we actually wrap them. That Dr. Pepper is also going to give a nice color on there as well. All right, do the one in the back real good. All right, I, th I think we're good. That's what it looked like so far, and real nice color. All right, y'all. So it's been about three hours. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get these uh, get these ribs off. This uh, butcher paper here got off of eBay, $18. And guess what? No shipping and there is no minimal cost to have to order this.
All right, so the third person I'm gonna tag in this rib candy challenge is gonna be Sal Root Boy Cooks. And you know, I might as well get out of the way. The fourth one, I'm actually gonna do four. The fourth one is somebody I usually tag in all these, and I actually like seeing him do videos, is Scott at In For The Grill Barbecue. You've been tagged, so there you go. You have uh, Not Another Cooking Show, Cooking With CJ, Sal Root Boy Cooks, and Scott In For The Grill Barbecue. I did four. Sorry, Kirby, I broke the rules. That's what I did. All right, so temperatures are finally settled in. We got about 265 right there, and got about 250 right here. That one just bump, bumped up a little bit right there. So not doing too bad on temperature. Alrighty y'all, it has been six hours. I'm taking them off regardless if they're completely and totally done or not. We are hungry, so they're coming off. taste test. So Michael, you wanted one of the uh, apple pie ones, this is one of the apple pie okay. ones. So go ahead and give one of those a shot. And I'm gonna do one of these here, we can have it on any one you want to. Obviously. And I'm gonna try one of these here in the middle, the uh, the blueberry barbecue sauce one. Let's dig in. Now, if I would've gone about a half hour longer, these would be probably a little more tender, but these are still really good, they're still really tender. And the best thing about it, that these are like candy. They're icky and sticky, but not like Ricky. My Dolphin fans know what I'm talking about. And definitely licky. Um, I'm a total mess here. And this is really, really good. Uh, this right here is one of the, uh, this right here is one of, why don't I just do that rib? I ate off of it. That's what no I do. Did I swallow it? Probably not, that was bad. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. All right, this here is one of the, uh, um, the bourbon maple syrup barbecue sauce ones. I'm in like, I'm in heaven right now. You like them? I taste the apple. It's a little faint, but you get a little bit of it in the aftertaste. Hey, it's it was a just, nice little touch to it. Hey, it's just, uh, it was just a, an experiment, you know? Never did it before, why not? I had some extra uh, apple pie feeling, so I give it a shot. Apple's really tasty, but. Yeah. And of course, this is really phenomenal. And then those are my wife's uh, ribs right there. That's the, uh, it's incredible. And this is the coffee rub with the uh, with the 
um, apple pie one. Anyhow, I'm gonna try to figure out the mystery of where my blueberry barbecue sauce rib is that I was eating off of. That's kind of baffling me. I don't see it. <laughs> I don't either. What did I do with it? Did you trash it already or something? No. Did you walk away? I don't know what I do with it. They probably see it on the camera. So the anyhow, magician. Yeah, I guess so. So anyhow, um, I appreciate all you people joining me today. Uh, I got my son Rife roll behind the camera. He's filming. Uh, this is my son Michael, my Marine I always talk about. Finally you guys get to see him. And of course me, Meathead. Um, I appreciate uh, uh, Kirby uh, Fish and Grill for including me inside this challenge video today. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is one of the tastiest challenges I've done so far. <laughs> so, you want to anything? Sucks you guys can't be here. <laughs> Y'all are good. See you, see you next week. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. I know I got icky, sticky, licky all over my face. Have a good one.